Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a testing WordPress site for free and in minutes. Okay, so if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know that I'm a very big advocate of WordPress. And one of the reasons I like WordPress so much is because it is open source, which means that you can find any server that you want through any hosting provider that you want, and you can use WordPress free of charge. Now, of course, it's typically going to have a cost involved mainly for that hosting. And then also for things like the theme or plugins or other things that you want to do to actually make that website do what you want it to do. The other reason I'm a big advocate for WordPress is because it is at its very core, at least when it was first created, it was created as a publishing platform. It was a way that anybody could start their own blog or news website. And so it remains today. And that's one of the reasons why you've heard me talk a lot about in the past, a WordPress theme that I've created called Notable Press. It's one that enables creators to have a home for their content on the web, whether that's going to be blog articles or videos like I do, or perhaps even a podcast, whether you wanna give it away for free or you want to charge for a membership that provides people access to the content that you create. Now, one of the challenges with WordPress, of course, though, is that hosting issue that I talked about earlier, because typically you have to go and you have to pay someone, and usually there's some pretty reasonable prices that you can find out there for hosting, but you have to pay for, you have to pay for hosting before you can even start experimenting with your website. So for example, if you wanted to try out and test my theme, for example, which I do offer a free trial for, you would have to go and purchase hosting. You have to go and pick one of your favorite hosting providers out there. I really like WP Engine. I think that's a good one, particularly for people who are just getting started. But you have to go out there and you have to purchase hosting and then you have to set up a WordPress site and only then after you've made that purchase and gone through that process, only then can you actually install the theme and start experimenting with it to determine whether or not it's right for you. Fortunately, there is a tool that enables you to set up kind of a test WordPress website for free and without creating an account anywhere. You don't have to pay anything, obviously, hence me using the word free. But the cool thing is that you don't even have to create an account. You can just click a few buttons, change a few settings, and then instantly set up a WordPress site that you can immediately start experimenting with. This is great for a number of different reasons. One of the biggest reasons is because you can test it out beforehand so you don't have to go through all that time and hassle and effort and energy of paying for and setting up a host that then you find out later isn't going to work for you. Secondly, it's also great if you're new to WordPress or maybe you're just intimidated by the whole process and you just want to check it out, kick the tires without actually having to go through that process that I mentioned earlier. With this site, you can simply jump on there, you can click the button and just mess around if that's what you wanna do. Okay, so without any further delay, let's go ahead and take a quick look at TasteWP to kinda of get a feel for how this works. Okay, so here I am at tastewp.com and I will put the link in the description. I'm not an affiliate or anything like that, so you can also just type, type tastewp.com right there into the address bar and it will come up. And as you can see here, they've got a, a number of different things here that they go through in terms of uh, what they recommend that you use it for and a number of things. You can also create an account if you want to, but again, like I said, you don't have to. Now you can just click this button to set one up instantly, but you can also, if you kind of know what you're doing a little bit more with WordPress. You can actually go in here and check some of these boxes. I think for most folks, particularly if you're just going to be experimenting with WordPress, you probably don't really have to worry about this. So all we really have to do here is jump on over and click I agree with the terms and then click set it up. And as you'll be able to see here, it's setting up for us a brand new fresh install of WordPress and it's already uh, provided all the information that we need to log in. Uh, so you see here is a URL, and that's gonna be the URL at which this site will live. And again, just so you know, this because this is free and it is uh, a test environment, something that you should know is that this site will disappear after a short period of time. So do not build anything on this uh, platform or using this service that you plan on keeping. You wanna just make sure that this is a sandbox that you are doing your testing in or experimenting with 
and make sure that you actually do purchase hosting prior to actually doing anything that you want to keep. Okay, so that disclaimer aside, let's jump on over here. We'll click that link and as you'll be able to see, it's going to take us to this brand new freshly install of WordPress. It's gonna take a moment just to redirect us over to the admin. And it looks like the site was set up successfully. What I'm gonna recommend for most people if you wanna get a true uh, test of, the, of WordPress is you're probably going to want to uninstall most of the plugins that they have uh, built in. Now they do have a backup migration plugin here. I actually, there's a better uh, migration plugin that I, I recommend called WP Migrate DB Pro, and I'll, I'll leave a link to that in the description. We're just gonna go ahead and delete the, or deactivate these for now, we won't delete them, because we want this to be as fresh as we possibly can. There we go. And this is gonna be something that's been integrated from Taste WP itself. They're telling you how long this site is going to live. And it's not a plugin that you can deactivate. So just so you know, this is not normal to WordPress. This is specific to uh, Taste WP. But if we jump on over to the dashboard, you'll be able to see that aside from this giant message at the top, it's pretty familiar with what WordPress typically looks like. You've got your welcome message right here. You've got your posts. And we can just click OK, got it, there we go, to get rid of that message. Uh, but yeah, it's just kind of a warning letting you know that I think it's two days is what you get without, if you don't create an account with them, how long you'll be able to test with this particular environment. Uh, what you'll probably also want to do is go ahead and copy and paste all of these, all of this information, just in case you want to close this, and you want to reaccess the site within those two days to maybe do some more testing. But again, if this is something that you're not gonna be using too much, you probably don't have to worry about it. Then if we jump on over to the front end, you'll be able to see that it's got the standard WordPress theme installed. But let's go ahead and take a quick look at what this would be like if we were going to go ahead and set up a quick uh, trial version of Notable Press. So what you have to do is go to Notable Dot press and what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and leave a link in the description that will link directly to this page and what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to go to resources and video training you actually have a video training uh, that actually go along with this uh, with the actual theme itself and so uh, once you gain access to this free video training you will also gain access to Notable Press uh, which will download to your computer and then we will be able to install that on our new WordPress website. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on over to Appearance, click on Add New, Upload Theme, and then choose File, click Install Now. Okay, so it looks like the theme has uploaded successfully, so we're just going to go ahead and click Activate. Okay, and we'll see that it has successfully taken us to the startup process. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop through this process. If you've seen some of my previous videos on this, you're probably well familiar with this. But this is just the process that's going to uh, help us get our, our uh, Notable Press site up and running. So we'll just go ahead and jump through this real quick. We'll go ahead and leave uh, this is the, the random name of the site they gave us. We'll just use that just for the sake of this example. This is just a quick test, test site I've set up. Then we'll go ahead and just paste in some uh, placeholder text just for the description. We don't need anybody to be able to create an account and we're not gonna be selling memberships yet. But once you get over to your live site, Perhaps this is probably something that you're gonna to wanna to set up. Avatar slash photo, we'll just leave that blank for now since we're just doing a really quick test. We'll go ahead and pick a nice color, pick green. We'll keep it in dark mode to start with. Go ahead and keep the default fonts, but of course you can choose from hundreds of fonts from the Google Fonts library. We will go ahead and select a background image, which I've already selected one, which is royalty free from a site called Pexels. So we'll just go ahead and drag that on over and then we'll click insert into post. For rounded corners, we'll go ahead and keep this at three. And this is something that all of these settings will be able to change later if we need to. No external links, that would be like your Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. And uh, this is where you would enter in a license key if you are going to be using uh, the Notable Press theme beyond 30 days, but it is it does have a 30 day free trial built in. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip that for now. 
just so we can uh, do some testing. Go ahead and skip these steps. This is where you would be uh, pasting in your YouTube API key and Twitch API key, that information, if you wanted to connect Twitch or YouTube to your Notable Press account. I'm gonna skip that for now. So we'll go ahead and click the next step. Uh, we're gonna be able to skip this as well since we're not going to be allowing payment for a membership. But again, these are all things that you'd be able to set up later. Uh, these are all plugins that we don't necessarily need in there at the moment. So we'll just click next step and we are ready to click finish. And there we go. Now we see that our Notable Press site has been set up for us with some sample content. Be able to go through here and see all of it if you click on latest. And these are just test posts that you can use to kind of see Notable Press in action. Uh, and it's just as you would expect with any install of WordPress. You'll be able to go in here and manage all of these posts. Uh, you'll be able to go into the post section. You'll be able to create your own posts. So if you're curious about, as I've talked quite a bit in the past before, if you're curious about some of the functionality built into Notable Press, this is a way you'll be able to try it out for free. Or if there's just any WordPress theme out there that you want to experiment with, uh, this is a way that you can do it or even if you just want to be able to do some experimenting with WordPress, this is a great way to do it absolutely free and uh, without any risk or having to create any accounts of any kind. Okay, so that's it. I just wanted to go through uh, the process of giving you an idea of what you can do with Taste WP. Like I said previously, even if you're not using this for Notable Press or any particular theme, even if you just want to start to learn and to tinker and to mess around and become familiar with WordPress, this is an excellent tool to do it with. So as always, if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.